let's start your investment journey. Hi, and welcome to another edition of our weekly market outlook report for the week starting Monday, the 15th of March. Get ready for a volatile week trading ahead of us, centered around central bank rate decision and also quadruple witching. This is a once in a quarter event where futures, stock options, stock indices, options, and also stock futures all expire simultaneously. This can, by its nature, create huge volatility. And such a day is scheduled for Friday, 19th of March. The week will start with China trade balance data on Monday. Moving on, on Tuesday, we should be on the lookout for Eurozone ZEW economic sentiment survey for March and US retail sales and Japanese trade balance figures for February. Going forward, Eurozone and also Canada consumer price index figures for February, Fed interest rate decision and FOMC press conference will be closely watched in the evening in addition to the US crude oil inventories. On Thursday, the main point of interest is reserved for Australia unemployment figures, Bank of England interest rate decision and minutes and US jobless claims data. The week will finish on Friday. This is our quadruple witching day with Bank of Japan interest rate decision and press conference in addition to Canada retail sales. Now, let's take a look at few markets. Let's start with German 30 or the DAX index, uh, which is uptrending at the moment. The current price action is creating a bullish breakout higher, uh, initially supported by 14,380, 14,300 zone. Uh, the current price is trading well above 20 and 50 period moving averages and it's supported by rising support trend line. So pullbacks to this area here and a rally would support bullish outlook, potentially targeting additional resistance at 14,600, 700, 800, 900, take your pick. It's uncharted territory at this point in time. Uh, only the end of day close below 14,380, uh, 14,300 and a retest of that level from underneath could open the way for a deeper corrective move uh, targeting 14,200, possibly even 14,000 where the price would meet uh, rising moving averages and also trend line. Uh, normally we would cover Dow Jones, but this week I am covering uh, NASDAQ uh, or US tech index, um, which appears to be uh, creating uh, a breakout here, oversold breakout higher. Uh, the price is still covered by, well, uh, capped uh, <laughs> by 50 period moving average in daily. Um, uh, around 13,180-13,200. So uh, a rally into that level and a rejection or a gradual move lower and a loss in particular loss of these current lows at 12,800, 12,770. An end of day close below that level uh, could potentially trigger this as a fake out or a false breakout, potentially opening the way for a deeper corrective move, targeting additional support at 12,600, 12,360, 12,200 to the downside. Alternate, therefore, continuation of this corrective move. Alternatively, if we see um, a, a rally from here and an end of day close above 13,180, 13,200, and a retest of that level from above as a newly found support that could trigger extension to the upside, targeting additional resistance at 13,330, 13,570 to the upside. Euro dollar in four hourly appears to be under pressure. This is the oversold bounce back in end of day timeframe. Uh, key trading level going forward is at 1850. Um, as long as that level holds uh, and we see a gradual move higher, resistance on the upside is located here at one spot 20, uh, cluster of these lows here uh, and also nice and round number. Breakout above 120 could open the way for a gradual move higher, targeting 120.50, possibly even 
121 to the upside which would be a price meeting this a longer term falling resistance trend line uh, if i open this chart in a daily time frame you will see the reason for that trend line here it was based on the closing levels the full body candles uh, from this corrective move lower rally into this level and the rejection would be bearish or a gradual move lower and a loss of one spot 1850 that could trigger extension to the downside targeting additional support at one spot 187 or even one spot 1750 cable yet again for hourly uh, this appears to be a bullish breakout and a retest of uh, a falling wedge uh, key trading level for cable is at 138.30 uh, 138 to the downside this also happens to be a 61.8 fib retracement uh, from these swing lows down here from the 4th of february all the way up to this current swing t uh, swing high at 142.40 so um rising support trend lines uh moving averages fib retracements pattern breakouts uh, multiple layers of evidence pointing to a significance of this area here as a support as long as that support holds and we see a gradual move higher in particular if we see a breakout an end of day close above one spot 40 retest of that level from above as a newly found uh, support that could trigger extension to the upside targeting additional resistance at one spot 41 41 50 one spot 42 42 50 on the upside therefore a continuation uh, of this longer term daily uptrend alternatively if you see a dip lower and uh, a daily close below 138 30 138 that would negate this as a breakout potentially opening the way for a deeper corrective move uh, targeting this additional support trend line towards one spot 37.50 one spot 37 to the downside dollar japanese yen yet again four hourly intraday time frame price action is creating the sequence of higher lows it's supported by multiple moving averages it's supported by rising, rising trend line this looks like a nice breakout um, above the coiling price action key trading level going forward is at 108.30 pullback to 108.30 and a rally or a gradual move higher breakout above these current swing highs at 109.30 could open the way for the extension to the upside targeting 109.60 109.80 110 110.60 to the upside alternatively if you see a dip lower loss of these lows towards 108.30 retest of that level from underneath as a newly found resistance that could potentially trigger a deeper consolidation to the downside targeting additional support at 108 107 50 107 to the downside lastly let's talk about gold this is gold in daily time frame this looks like an oversold bounce back uh, from um, 1680 1700 and the last candle created this uh, bullish hammer here with a massive wick at the bottom um, there is a falling resistance trend line which can be created by connecting this sequence of the lower highs and the current price is below 20 50 and 200 period moving averages in daily However, if we see a rally from these uh, areas and a breakout above 1720, that could trigger extension to the upside, targeting a retest of 1750, 1760 to the upside. So therefore, the price would meet this falling resistance trend line and also the cluster of these previous lows here. Rally into that level and the rejection would be bearish potentially opening the way for the retest of 1710 1700 1680 1660 and so on alternatively if you see a rally and an end of day close above 1750 1760 uh, and a retest of that level from above as a newly found support then this would be a breakout um, potentially opening the way opening the way for the extension to the upside targeting resistances at 1790 and 1800 uh, over the coming weeks thank you for watching thank you for listening stay safe and happy trading bye for now Let's start your investment journey.